Yeah, dude, this server is literally like a, a meme. This shit is not rearmed, it's just de-armed, okay? Let's fucking go play rearmed, dude. <laughs> How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another Matty Triceps video. In this video, we're going to be going over a beginner's tutorial on the new rearmed building mod that's releasing in the next wipe. There's a bunch of new different items, some similar to what you might already see in BBP, but some with different features and a lot of cool ideas that you can come up with. Now, two of the most unique new items that are coming to this Rearm building mod is the compound walls and compound gates. As you can see, these are huge areas in which can be blocked off. Um, you can basically compound off a specific town or a specific set of houses that you might want at a cheaper cost and use the compound gates to have like a really large entrance to get in and out. Think of it like um, sort of Viking compounds you might see back in those history movies. And then if we go through each and every item, so in this Rearm building mod, a lot of the focus is actually going to be around foundation kits. Now you need to snap every single item towards a foundation kit or another kit that's already been placed. There are two types of foundation kits, one being the square foundation kit, as you can see here. Another one being the triangle foundation kit, as you can see there. Now this is important because, as I said, snapping is going to be the only way you can place BBP items or should I say rearmed base building items. So if I wanted to build a door first, I'd actually have to place a foundation kit before I could build a door. So if we just run through each and every one of the items that are on here, um, we've got a ramp. So a ramp's pretty simple. You can use it to build peaks in your base, uh, ramp up towards a window, ramp up towards your roof, or you could use it to basically get your vehicles in and out of a garage on that side. And we have the walls. So as you can see, all the new items are following a so sort of different texture base building plus the walls are pretty standard um, you can sort of see that there's different types of fill if you look closely so on the back side you can see the frames these log frames are where you can soft side a base and then on the hard side you won't be able to see that so when you're building always make sure that these logs are facing you and not your enemies or else they'll just come and chop down your base from the outside of a hatchet then we have the new floor kits now in, in BBP itself, floors were generally used to actually place on the floor, but in this new Rearm mod, they're used as a sort of roof. Um, this is similar to how it is in Rust, if you've ever played Rust. Um, and now, instead of floors, you'll be using foundation kits on the bottom. We also have the triangle floors, which are placed on top. And yeah, that's a similar situation if you ever want to build sort of honeycomb type bases on that side. Then we have the new doors. Now, the doors are slightly cool. Um, Neat little new feature that they've added. If I show you here, when you code lock a door, if I put code lock, it's still the same. One, two, three, one, two, three. Still codes lock it. You can defend yourself from raiders like that. But there's a new beeping noise. If you're familiar with Rust, you'll know where that noise comes from. So we've also got the new windows. So the windows look like so. You have to build a few parts. First, you have to build the outer wooden frame, the outer wooden wall. Then you have to build the window bar, wood window in the middle. Um, and then you build the shutters on the side, which you can open and close. You can open and close from both sides. Unfortunately, this means for a lot of rearm players, the door skips will be removed from the servers. Uh, so you'll have to go beeping through your doors, that little guinea pigs. Then we had the double doors. So on BBP itself, you'll remember there were garage doors. And there were left and right garage doors like this. Um, but in this Rearm mod, currently they're not in. They may introduce them in the future. Um, but if you're basically trying to get a car into a sort of garage, most likely you'll have to use the compound gate down there um, that we showed you earlier. Or you'll have to try and jam a vehicle like a quad bike in with these double doors here. We've also got the half walls, basically just half of the wall that we saw earlier. Um, you can use it for different types of things like some peaks in your bases cover off certain areas, all those things like a roof, if you want to put like a, uh, a half wall on top of your roof so that you can peek over and hide behind when you're shooting players, you can do that as well. And then you just got these standard staircases that they have here to get up and down potential towers or different floors within your base. So these are the different new parts you can build. Um, as I said again, you can only snap items now, there's no free placing. So that means first you're going to have to place your foundation kit as seen over here. And then you're going to have to snap everything to 
towards these foundation kits. So how do you actually get started building? Well, first of all, you're going to need this item here, which is a blueprint building plan. Now, how do you get that? Well, if you're on the rearm servers, you can buy it from safe zone or a trader, or if you're sneaky and you find like a box of nails or a box of ammo, you get paper, right? So if I just spawn in some paper here. Now this paper can actually be used. Hold down left click on the paper. Create a blueprint. And now I have the blueprint I need to build all these different items over here. Now, once you have your blueprint, you want to put it in your hand. And once it's in your hand, you want to hold right click to bring up the GUI, the graphical user interface. You'll see a sort of um, scroll wheel type thing here, and it'll show you in a sort of graphical format what items are each with the description in the center of your screen. So foundation frame at the top, triangle foundation frame here, ramp, floor, triangle floor, wall frame, etc, etc, etc. And all you want to do, if you want to build a frame, for example, hover your mouse over the foundation frame up here, let go of your mouse and look around and you can start placing it here. Now remember, these are the only items you can free place. You can only free place the foundations. And then once you've got it down, there you go. The, the sort of gray outline is the hologram that you might remember from BBP that's blue. But in this case, it's gray and it'll show you where it's going to place. Now, for example, if I wanted to build a little one by one, I'll want to then go down here to build a frame wall. And as you can see, to build the walls, you basically just want to look at each part of this wooden foundation frame and just sort of try to get a feel of where things might be until it freezes. So if I want to build a wall over here, I look down, left click, and it's built that there. If I want to build a second floor, you can do that. But all I want to do here is build a little box, like so. Look around again. Might need to be character to do this. You see it's stuck up there. Um, that there. Then I want a door, so a door frame. There we go there. And then remember, you don't have roof kits anymore. You've got the floors. You can't soft side this from the from the above anymore. You can only soft side it from below. So a floor frame. Place that in there. Now you have the basic foundations and the basic frames that you need to build a base. Now this will cost materials. I'll go down in later in the video. Um, you, it only uses logs for frames, so you'll, I think it's one log. Per, be, per base building item. So in this case, we've got one foundation, which is one log. One, two, three walls, that's three logs, a door. So that's four, five. So in total, this little frame box here will cost you six logs. And then each item to fully build will roughly cost you eight planks, except for the doors and windows because there's extra things you need to build in between. So what I do is just have a stack of planks for each item and you'll be good to go. So that's sort of how you use the graphical interface and how you'd want to do it. You just want to basically want to look around, press left click to place the item that you want. If you want a foundation, get the hologram, place it on the floor, and there you have it. And then you sort of just inch your character around to find where you want to put your walls or your doors, and you'll always find where you want to do it. And just remember when you full build the item, you want to make sure the hard side is facing on the other side. So for example, here, this wall is the hard side. So I'd have to blow through this now because you can raid walls. And this other side, the soft side, is where the frame logs are because this is where I could hatch it if I wanted to dismantle it. But I couldn't hatch it and dismantle from the side here. So if we go back to sort of building our little one by one base here, what do we need to build it? Well, there are a few ways to build it. Um, unlike BBP, you're only going to need logs and planks. Logs to build this frame that I've got here, this little cage, and then planks to fill it in. Now, once you've got planks in your inventory, so if I just spawn in some planks. You'll need a tool to build it up, right? And there's three different types of tools you can use. A hatchet, which is the slowest way of building. A hammer, which is the sort of medium way, medium speed of building. And then the rearm claw hammer, which is the fastest tool to use for building. So if you're building, make sure to buy the claw hammer because that's the fastest. And then you buy, make sure to buy a hatchet so you can dismantle stuff. So I'm I'm going to take the hatchet because I don't have one on me. But I've already got a claw hammer in my inventory. 
So you want to go back over, get the claw hammer in your hands. And then to build it, you can build from any side. Build wooden upgrade, hold left click. And as you can see, it used eight planks from my inventory just then. Now, if you remember what I said earlier about hard side, soft side, this door is the wrong way around. Well, don't worry, there's a new feature now, which is called rotate. So you just click left click and it'll make sure your hard side's on the correct side. Now to build the rest of this door, um, we're gonna have to hold left click again and use some extra materials because there's an extra part and that door costs four planks. So in total, so in total for a full door and the wooden frame, it's gonna cost you 12 planks and one log. And the rest of these items, it's basically gonna cost you eight planks per item and once you've fully built them up, you'll be able to secure a base down like this and get it moving and secure any loot that you might have. So now that I've built my little one by one here, I want to double check and make sure on the outside that it's all hard side on the outside and all soft side in the middle. Uh, as you can see here, there's a hard side spot. Now if I was a raider or a cheaper player here, and someone made a mistake, what I could do to raid this base, say there's a code lock on this door and it was closed and you couldn't get in, what I do to raid it, just go away, start chopping it down. Free raid. So you don't want to make that mistake, make sure to rotate your walls and the hard side is like so. So now you have a very basic single one by one base and from there you can pretty much extend it how you want. So you basically want to again get the foundation up here, square one it to the bottom and then do the same rinse and repeat if you want to extend it over here for example you'd want to build these uh, frames up on this side like so and then you'd actually want to chop down this wall so if I chopped it down chop 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 pretend I chopped it I'm gonna delete it with admin tools lol I could extend it like this snap Floor back up here and again build up all the items all the planks into the frames and I'd extend my base like so now I've only just covered so far the tier 1 building now in its current state there's going to be a tier 2 building so sheet metal as most of you would know sheet metal doors or sheet metal walls or roofs for example um, you can also do it in this mod so if I go sheet metal over here if I spawn some in here we are, we've got it here. And you can actually upgrade the door and the wall to make sure that you have extra protection against raiders coming to raid your base. This will basically double the raiding costs. I'll go into the raiding costs in more detail later. Um, but ideally your core room, your main loot should all have metal upgrades. As you can see, that initial um, Door, so the full metal door cost us in total just then uh, 12 sheet metal, which is quite a lot. Now these recipes may change in the future. They may update this to make it cheaper or more expensive. But in this current state, it is 12. But if you, I assume if you've got a stack on you, you'll be able to figure out how many more you might need on that front. Um, if it's a wooden wall, how would you upgrade it? Well, make sure you can the claw hammer in your hand you got sheet metal in your inventory and this time round eight sheet metal again so similar to the planks it costs eight planks to build wooden wall you can actually just build straight from the frame a metal wall save yourself some planks rotate it and i'll do the same thing on that side still costs you eight sheet metal overall there's currently no tier three so concrete and um, buildings is not yet released in this iteration but most likely it will in the future so make sure to keep an eye on the rearm discord for any of those recipes that'll be released then and any of these sort of new bbp uh, bbp rearmed items may change in the future they may add new ones so also keep an eye on that one but this is a basic tutorial of how you can get down your initial starter base or your initial little base to get going on the rearm servers so lads, now that you basically know how to get up a little one by one or a little base of your choice with the foundations, with the snapping and all the blueprints, 
I did actually forget to mention how do you build the compound walls and the compound frames? Well, if you want to start off with a gate, a compound gate, you always need to sort of face it the direction in which you want to go out. So this will be the soft side area if you place it like that. That'll cost you logs, so make sure you have a full stack of logs in your inventory to build these. All the compound walls and all the compound gate cost logs, so as long as you have enough there, you should be good. You can build it up like so. There we have it. So as you can see here, we've got our compound wall. And I'm pretty sure this is the outside. Um, you can see here, there's little handles here. And if you're if you watch films like, I don't know, like Lord of the Rings or something, they'll place like a big ass log here to stop people breaking in. Obviously you don't have that in this, but that's all sort of the visual effect that you have for the compound gates. So this will be your main entrance, getting in and out of your compound. And if you have like a little one by one like this, for example, you do actually want to like compound off the area to make it more secure, prevent yourself getting camped. So ideally you want to basically set up a little ring around your base like so. Get all the frames sorted. Try your best to make a circle. Um, you're going to have to sort of eyeball it as you go around. As you can see what I'm doing. It'll probably turn out to be the most scuffed circle ever. But once you have all the frames down, I remember these cost logs. And then basically just spam build them up. Now that I've got all the frames down, they look like so. Each time you put a frame down, it'll cost logs. It'll also cost logs for you to fully build the frame. If I start knocking one up right now. That's sort of what it looks like. A really nice compound wall which blocks off a specific area. Now if I build the rest of the compound walls up, then basically these become super high areas in which players can't very easily jump over. How they'll have to get into your base is either using a helicopter, boost up with multiple items which takes ages and has lots of risks involved. And this is basically a way you want to secure a decently sized chunk area without using too many materials. Um, from the best of my knowledge, compound walls, compound gates don't actually apply to your decay. So you can place as many of these as you want without your base de a decaying a quitter, quitter, quicker rate. So base is sort of coming nicely along here. We've got a little one by one in the middle. We've got compound walls surrounding it. And I'll show you in a second what it might look like from the outside. So we've pretty much circled it off. There we have it. So even though at first a little one by one doesn't seem very secure, once you actually set up and put all the, the compound gates and the compound walls up, you have nice little areas which you can peek out your base, shoot players through the little gaps if you wanted to, like so. But also a large area for you to get in and out of your base more securely without affecting your front door campers. You can also drive, drive like a car or a vehicle into here, park it up inside, like so, and secure in that vehicle and not get stolen by enemy players. And from the outside it looks pretty cool, so if I just show you like so, you can basically secure off an area just like this even connect this with vanilla buildings to make it even more secure and yeah it just looks really cool this is a really nice addition to base building the compound walls the textures and the animations look really great and we'll see how it goes to raid these you're going to need rpgs so you shoot a rocket at a compound wall shoot it at the gate and it'll explode that item to basically enable you to start raiding compounds thanks for watching the video in case there's any issues make sure you are joined the rearm discord they'll post regular updates on that front i'll try to post it in my discord and in the description of the videos to keep that up to date but the discord is where you're going to find the most latest info this is the first iteration of the mod and um, there'll be many iterations i assume in the future like releasing the concrete materials so definitely keep an eye on the discord thanks again for watching this is the beginner's tutorial on the rearm building mod